In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the sample mean variance and standard deviation by hand showing all the work and I will show you how to do this on a TI graphing calculator. So we have a set of data. Let's start with the mean. So the sample mean is x bar. So that equals to the sum of all the data and then divided by the sample size. So we have a 58 plus 64 plus 74 plus 79. You add up all the data. Plus 90 plus 95. And then we take the sum divided by 10. So the sum is equals to 796 divided by 10. The mean is equals to 79.6. And then we move on to the variance. So let's switch color for that. Uh, for the variance, s square, so that equals to the sum of x, each data entry, subtract the mean, square the result, divided by n minus 1. So we write the full expression first, and then uh, I will show you how to get, get, get the uh, variance. So the first, the first data is 58 minus 79.6 square the result divided by 10 minus 1 or you write a 9 and then we do this for every data entry All right i want to show a full expression and then plus 64 minus uh, 79.6 square the result divided by 10 minus 1 don't worry about what that equals to right now just focus on the expression 74 minus 79.6 square the result divided by 10 minus 1 and then uh, 79 minus 79.6 square the result divided by that doesn't look like a decimal point divided by 10 minus 1 and then 80 minus 79.6 square divided by 10 minus 1 and then 82 minus 79.6 square divided by 10 minus 1 and then plus 86 minus 79.6 square divided by 10 minus 1 I didn't miss anything right let me check it real quick 58 64 74 79 80 82 86 all right and then we have three more to go 88 minus 79.6 square divided by 10 minus 1 and then plus 90 minus 79.6 square divided by 10 minus 1 and then plus the last one 95 minus 79.6 square divided by 10 minus 1 so this is how I do this in my class so if I ask students to do everything on paper I will just ask them to show this expression for full credit they don't need to calculate what that equals to I will give them what that equals to on my exam paper or homework paper so this one I will just give you what that equals to this is approximately equals to 133.82 I will just give out this number I will take this full expression for credit they don't need to calculate what it is I have to give them this number because they need this to calculate the standard deviation let's switch color for the standard deviation so s or s is equals to the square root of variance which is the square root of um, 133.82 so that is approximately equals to 11.57 all right so that is how you show a full expression to get um the mean the sample mean variance and standard deviation and then let's make a comparison so here is a comparison so we have one for population for the population we calculated in the previous video uh, if you want to check it out you can go back to the previous video so there is a difference right in the variance the sample and population variance and standard deviation which one you have to calculate uh, on homework or exam usually 99% of the time they ask you to calculate the sample variance and sample standard deviation just read the problem carefully they will say treat this data set as a sample so if they say sample then you have to do n minus 1 you have to take the sample size subtract 1 if they treat this data this, this data set as a population then you, you will just do 10 I never ask people to find the population variance and standard deviation. I always ask for a sample. All right. But like I said, how do you do this uh, using a graphing calculator? So I'm going to show you that right now. Uh, the calculator you see on, on the screen, this is not 
a real TR84 Plus. I download this from my app store. Actually, I brought this from my app store. So the one that I, I'm using right now, this is called, uh, I think it's called Graphing Calculator Pro. Graphing Calculator Pro. I spent $5 to, to purchase that um, for TR84. So here is the full instruction to do this on the TR84. So on the TR84, I will just start working on doing the work on my calculator. So there is a there is a little bit different. This one is a screenshot I did it on a TI84 Plus CE, and then I put the screenshot in the description over there. So try to follow this as much as you can. I don't want to split the screen because if I do, that makes uh, the direction really really hard, hard, small and hard to read. So this one, uh, there are eight steps right there. So let me start. So uh, the first thing that you will have to do is you enter the data. So to enter the data, you go to stat, find the stat key, stat. Stat is right above the DEL key. Do you see alpha on your calculator? And then go to the right, and then go to the right, alpha. Alpha is the one right below second. Go to the right, go to the right, you see stat, right? Or Look for the left arrow. You see where you will easily find where the stat key is. So press that, and then you see edit, right? So select edits. Do you see one go to stat and then edit? You read the direction, and then you go to edit. You will see empty column. So if you have um, uh, data right there. So let's say I have some some data. So let me in in input a date, a list of number. So, so let's say I have this for the previous entry. So for the previous problem, so you go all the way up to L1 and then you hit clear, you hit enter. So the data will be clear. Go all the way up to the list. Make sure the cursor is on L1. So L1 is blackout and then you hit clear and then you hit enter. After all, so you start with nothing right in L1. So let's put data in L1. So the first data is 58. And then you press enter the next one is 64 press enter and then 74 79 80 82 86 88 90 95 again my calculator is ti is graphing calculator pro is not a real ti calculator so your screen and my screen are different all right, so the next thing that you will have to do is you put a list of data in L1. So let's go back to the home screen. You press second mode to go back to the home screen. If you don't want to go back to the home screen, that is fine. So second mode is the method to go back to the home screen. You go to stat. So this time you will go to count looking at the third screen. Stat count and then you select one variable stats, one var stat. And then uh, you will see the fourth screen. So list, frequency list, and calculate. If you are using a TI-83 Plus or an older version of TI-84, it might return to the home screen. You might see one VAR stats, and then, and then uh, in a cursor is flashing on the home screen. That, that's fine. We are on the same page. All you have to do is you input L1. So how do you input L1? Do you see that above the one key, just in the corner, there is a little L1, right? Sometimes uh, in TI-84, that is in blue. So you hit second, and then you hit one. Second, one, to input L1. The frequency list, don't worry about that. Skip that, and then go straight to calculate. If you are using a TI-84 older version or 83, after you input L1, just click enter. So calculate. So once you hit calculate, you will see this. So you see a one variable stats and then they give you a report of that, right? So the first one, 79.6 is uh, X bar is sample mean. And then the next one is sum of X. You add up all the data, 796. And then uh, the square, you square every single data. You add them up, you get a huge value, the SX. SX is sample, pay attention to, to that. SX is sample standard deviation. Sigma X is population standard deviation. And then N is the sample size. Do you see a down arrow? 
if you go down a little bit, you see uh, the minimum Q1, median Q3, and max. We will need that in the next lesson. All right, so that is how you find the sample mean and sample standard deviation. There is no variance, right? The one variables that doesn't provide the variance for you. If you want variance, so you go, uh, you, if you want variance, uh, hit clear right now. So clean that up. If clear right, clear that right now. So if you want variance, you go to second and then you go to stat. And then you hit the right arrow to select math. And then do you see that the last one is variance? That is a sample variance. So you hit variance and it should return to the home screen. And then you input second one, L1, close parenthesis. And then you hit enter. That gives you the sample variance. If you don't uh, if you don't want to do this, so simply you can cheat a little bit. You can you take the sample standard deviation from the one variable stats result and then simply square that you will get the sample variance all right so that is how you get these three numbers using a ti graphing calculator i see you all in the next lesson